we could be dead without Jupiter. The moon is slowly drifting away from Earth. One Neptune year is 165 Earth years. It turns out there are many curious facts about the planets in our solar system that we never really think about. Let's jump on our imaginary spaceship that just gained some energy from the sun and move outwards passing by each planet to learn some astonishing facts about every one of them. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system and also the one which is the closest to our Sun. Maybe that's why, during sunlight, temperatures on Mercury can reach up to 427 degrees Celsius. For Mercury's surface, the Sun would appear three times as large as it does when viewed from the Earth, and the sunlight would be 11 times brighter. Venus has an atmospheric pressure 92 times stronger than the Earth, turning the air into a supercritical fluid able to basically crush you. 462 degrees Celsius. That's how devastatingly hot it is on Venus. 96% of Venus's atmosphere is carbon dioxide. This results in an intense greenhouse effect which traps all the heat like a blanket, causing the temperature on the planet to be much higher than its proximity to the Sun would suggest. Earth's interior is actually not solid. Our planet has a kind of squishy interior because of the high temperatures and pressure below the surface. This rather spongy consistency is actually responsible for volcanic activity and earthquakes. The moon is slowly drifting away from Earth. Scientists discovered that the moon is actually straying away from our planet by about four centimeters each year due to the gravitational effect that each has on the other. Mars is known as the red planet, and it's not a coincidence. Its surface color is actually reddish. The reason is the high amount of iron oxide dust in the soil. But iron oxide is present here on Earth as well. It can actually be found in paint pigments, hemoglobin, and even in food coloring under the name E172. Mars is home to Olympus Mons, a giant sleeping volcano which is also the highest mountain in our solar system. Olympus Mons is more than 25 kilometers in height, which is about three times the height of Mount Everest. We could be dead without Jupiter. Jupiter is massive, so big that over 1,300 Earths could fit inside of it. Exactly because of its enormous mass and therefore strong gravity, Jupiter attracts many comets and asteroids protecting the inner solar system. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. But do you know where its name comes from? It comes from Jupiter, also known as Jove, the god of the sky and thunder, and king of the gods in ancient Roman religion and mythology. The Romans actually regarded Jupiter as the equivalent of the Greek Zeus, with Neptune and Pluto being the Roman equivalents of Poseidon and Hades, respectively. Poor Pluto or Hades being so tiny and insignificant compared to the massive king of planets. Early telescope observations of Saturn caused some confusion because of the weird shape that was seen. Later, with better resolution, it became clear that there was a massive chain of small bodies encircling the gas giant. It is a field of ice and rock debris that from afar appears as rings. Saturn's largest moon, Titan, is actually bigger than Mercury. With its 5,149 kilometers in diameter, Titan is the second largest moon in the solar system after Jupiter's Ganymede. Uranus was the first planet to be discovered with the aid of a telescope. This happened in 1781 when astronomer William Herschel saw the planet, although he originally thought it was either a comet or a star. While most planets in the solar system are named after Roman gods, Uranus was named after the Greek god of the sky, 
father of Cronus, the equivalent of Saturn, and grandfather of Zeus, the equivalent of Jupiter. Winds on Neptune. They reach up to 1,771 kilometers per hour, which is almost five times more than the highest wind speed ever recorded here on Earth. One Neptune year is 165 Earth years. The distance between Neptune and the Sun is almost four and a half billion kilometers, which is 30 times more than the distance between the Earth and the Sun, resulting in an extremely long period of time needed for the planet to make a full rotation around the Sun. With this, we reach the boundary of our solar system. It was an incredible journey full of fun facts and we now have the endless cosmic space ahead of us. Where should we go next?